फेक है वे फेक है वे टेल मी Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I made this amazing crochet V part wig using the Brazilian wool hair. If you want to try making this wig at home, keep on watching and get the details out of it. For this crochet wig, I went on using just a pack cuz I didn't want my wig to be heavy and bulky. I just wanted it to be light. I usually use this method to measure and section the hair cuz it's easy and convenient for me to use. If you are new to my channel, you're welcome and thanks for joining the family. My name is Rosel Hair Tips and for my returning subscribers, I really appreciate you guys. Kindly subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and also turn the notification button to get all the alert of my new videos. After combing the hair, I went ahead and feather it out. In order to make the hair even, I went ahead again and brush it out. For this wig, I'm going to use the wig cap that comes with the adjustable stripe because I'm going to make a V part wig. I'm going to use this stripe to secure the wig on my head. I'll be using these T pins to pin down my wig cap. If you don't have these pins at home, you can use any pins of your choice. I have my crochet pin ready, which I'm going to use to crochet the hair. I then take a smaller section of the hair, which I'm going to use to crochet. To crochet the hair, you are going to use the pin to pass through the wig cap and then hook your hair into the pin and close it and then pull it out from the wig cap and then try to not knot it. <laughs> I went ahead and repeated the same process as you can see in the video. If you find this video helpful so far, kindly give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell for any updates on my new videos. I usually leave a gap in between the hair because I don't want the hair to be bulky. At this stage, I'm going to crochet the hair a bit closer around the perimeter of the wig cap. I'm going to use this small crochet pin because I'll be sectioning my hair a bit smaller. At this stage, I continue to crochet the hair on the wig cap as you can see in the video. For the closure, I use the invisible crochet method. For this method, instead of knotting the whole hair, I went ahead and take just a section of the hair, one part of it, and then knot it, as you can see in the video. This is how the closure look after I finish crocheting it. And I then repeat the same process on the other side. Yeah, the hair is already giving me the look that I want. I want to go for. Wow! If you've ever watched any of my videos, 
you have to know that i don't usually leave my edges like that i make sure it's full i use the invisible crochet method to fold it up As you can see, the edges are now fully closed. I'm going to mix the conditioner with water in order to make the hair shiny, soft and free from any frizz. In order to make my wig look natural and realistic, I went ahead and cut off the SS wig cap away. I went ahead and used the blade to trim the hair. To secure the closure, I use my hot straightener to seal the end. In order to get our V shape, I go ahead and split the closure into two. I'm going to sew some combs on the wig cap in order to secure them on my head. Watch me install the wig. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel at Rosa Hair Tips and also give me a thumbs up if you find this video helpful.